Hey guys, are you looking for something to get yourself moving outside of your house, getting a little stir crazy inside? Um, we have an idea for you. We have taken some sidewalk chalk and um, drawn an agility ladder on the on the ground outside, and we are going to be using it to work on some different agility drills. Um, you can do as long of a ladder as you want, or as short, depends on how much space you have. Obviously, if you have a driveway, you can cover your whole driveway to challenge yourselves, or if you have a parking lot with no cars driving by like we do right here you can make it as long as you want um, so stay tuned okay so for all of these exercises you can complete the drills as many times as you want um, what we were doing today is five reps of everything so five times through another option to do this is to set a timer and do maybe 30 seconds going back and forth down the ladder before you switch to the next drill so our first one that we're going to do is just normal running feet we're doing one foot one foot in each square Pushing through our feet in each square. And we'll go back. Our second exercise is quick running feet, putting two feet in each box. So next we're going to go sideways, um, but we're going to do two feet in one box. So here we go. Try to do your fastest feet, pushing through those feet every single time they come up. And going back. Next we have sideways running with your quick feet, two feet in each square. With all of your sideways stuff, make sure that you do equal amounts on both sides. Our next one is single leg switches, but we're going to end up putting two feet into each square, just one at a time. So if I'm going down this way to the right first, I'm going to start with my right leg. We're going to go right foot in and out and in and out every time, all the way down. And then when you go back the other direction, obviously you start with your left leg first then. Um, or if you want to make that last variation that we just did a little bit harder, you could do um, go a little deeper and do lunge switches, but you'll switch in every single box, so it'll look like this, going down into your lunges every time, all the way down, and you can go all the way back too, just to make sure that you're going both directions. Next, we're moving to our jumping variation, so the first one is in and out. Try and go as fast as you can with your feet. Just really making sure that your knees don't go past your toes and keeping your chest up as high as you can. Alright, so we're about to get into some single leg stuff. So just like before with the sideways um, exercises that we showed you, make sure that you're doing both legs so that you don't end up all uneven. So make sure you do five on one leg, five on the other, or whatever number you come up with or whatever amount of time. So we're going to start just by doing single leg hops in each square. Make sure we go both directions on each foot. Okay, so we're doing single leg hops next. Um, just like the last video that you saw, we are staying on one leg all the way down and all the way back before we switch. So you're going single leg in and out and in and out all the way down the ladder, just like this, from the side. Trying to really push through that foot. is a little bit trickier we're doing our shuffle feet so for this one you're going to step in and push to your outside foot and then step it back in push to your outside foot then to the next box out up next out out next and then you try to speed it up as much as you can okay so this next version of um, shuffle feet is just for fun it's a little trickier but i'm going to start off really slow so you can see it and then get a little faster as I get down the ladder. So you're going to step one foot in, whichever one you um, step in, you're going to step the other one behind and cross it. You're always going to do two feet out. And pick it up once you start to get comfortable with it. So with our agility ladder, there are some other things you can be doing not on your feet. Um, Molly's going to demonstrate being in her push-up plank position, and she's going to walk from side to side, kind of like how we did shuffling with our feet sideways. So she'll start by going with her right hand first and then her left when she's going down the ladder this direction. But once she switches, she'll do her left hand first.
Now, if that is too easy for you, you are able to add push-ups in between every single square. So you can add push-ups with walking hands over. And elbows out and elbows in. Elbows out and elbows in, trying to go all the way down and all the way out. And you can really be um, really creative with these ladders and push-up shapes. Um, and so there are also some different burpee variations that you can be working on with your ladder at home too. The first one is just putting your hands down, walking your feet out, and standing back up and reach and go to the next one. Um, they're gonna get progressively harder, so Molly's jumping back and standing back up. This next one, she's gonna jump her feet back and she might even add a push-up, jumping all the way up to stand, or even jump. Um, this next one, she's gonna do a full burpee, jumping out, jump all the way up. And this next one, she's gonna try to get real tricky with it. She's gonna jump, push up, jump all the way over, jump and turn her body, and go to the next square for a full burpee, back and forth. Try to challenge yourselves with those. All right, here is our workout square that we have drawn on the concrete with chalk. Um, as you can tell, we like chalk a lot today. Um, this is just another way to be getting in some agility work and conditioning at home um, to help improve your cardio as well. Um, so with this block, we're always gonna start in the middle, um, but I'm just gonna show you some different variations that you can be doing here. You can be doing jumps where your feet go apart and come back together, just like this, or you can change it up and jump your feet apart in front and behind and then alternating legs. If you want to get a little fancier with that, you can skip the middle and go apart all the way over without touching it, bring those feet back together. All right, so another one that you can do is using the corners, um, jump your feet diagonally away from each other and back together. Jump them diagonally the other way and back together. You also have these squares drawn so that you can keep your feet glued together but try to jump them around the corners, really pushing through those feet. You can go both directions too. Um, and other options with these squares is to do single legs and jump all the way around your block in both directions. And you can do that on the other leg. Have fun with it. All right, this next exercise or drill is actually just really fun. You can draw a line on the floor in front of your feet. And what we're working on is our standing long jump to see how far we can jump and land on our feet with soft knees. Um, and then we're gonna mark it with our feet when we land. So she's gonna land with really soft knees Good. With her feet in front of her, she's going to mark it with chalk. And she's going to go all the way back. And she's going to try it again, see if she can get further and further each time. Whoa, nice one. This she can also be doing with um, single legs, too. That's a little trickier, making sure that you're really landing um, with a soft leg. Yeah, very nice. You see, you can see, and you can mark it right and left and see how far you can go with each leg. Um, these are just fun little challenges that you can be doing at home that can also be helping you out um, for when we are able to get back to gymnastics and other sports. Woo! I don't know.